it. Over here. I'm a boglin. Me and my buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> Boglin Watchers, it's your number one Boglin boy Jim Sterling here with another edition of Boglin Watch, the least popular thing I do. Let's talk about the hot news of the day. Your old pal Jim has new Boglins and they are imps! This is the yellow eyed green imp. This is the green eyed purple imp. This is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. They've been handmade by Tim Clark, and he worked on Dark Crystal, so he knows what he's talking about. The man who created Boglins, and he actually gave me the tip off that these went on sale on his website, totims.com. He looked after me! Tim! You're my bro bro! My bro bro looked out for me. Uh, on the last edition of Boglin Watch, I was a little bit concerned because uh, these had come out and I hadn't heard of them, and I thought, uh, that, 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 that Tim, uh, the inventor of Boglins, had abandoned your humble uh, number one Boglin boy, but it turns out that that, that that can't be the case. So I'm still the number one Boglin boy, is what I'm saying. I knew he had my back. No, it was you. It was you who said he didn't have my back. It was you who told me that I was a fucking failure. I'm not a failure. The purple imp, I might keep in its netting because this is the super rare limited edition and you can't get these anymore. These are sold out, I have one. Uh, but we can use it to look at the packaging. Now, as you can see, this one's called Neep. This one's called Neep. The green one is called Neep as well. This is just a variant. This is a variant color. Uh, so this is Neep. Uh, we'll get a closer look at Neep with the unboxed one, the green one. But if you look at the packaging, we can see that these are imps, Boglin, oh, hold on, Boglin, but hang on, hang on, hang on, there we, no, Bog, if I move, I'm, I'm using the camera's lens, um, the screen, so everything's the opposite, there, there, oh, look, I could just hold it like that, yeah, okay, so there, there we go, Boglin imps, and as you can see along the side, we also have four Boglin, oh, fuck my finger, as you can see, we have four different Boglin designs on the packaging. Could these be future Boglin imps? I mean, yeah, probably. And here it is! Neep, the first imp Boglin. Neep. 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 Neep could do that all day. So, Neep, hand done by Tim Clark. He says that uh, with the materials he had to hand, these are the uh, closest he can get to the original style Boglins on his own. Uh, but I, th I like these a lot. I think it's a really cute design. I love his little face. He's got a little happy smile. Little Neep, Neep. I like him a lot. Um, it is an interesting rubber. I can't really describe it. It's got a real clammy feel to it. It's not the same rubbery feeling as the original Boglins. Um, but in a way, it, it feels, you know, to, to the ungloved hand, it feels more kind of slimy and gross. And, and I mean that in a good way. Uh, I actually kind of like the, 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 the feel of the rubber. Uh, if we look at the interior, uh, as you can see, we've not got a you know, full mechanisms for the eyes and everything. The imps are bigger than mini boglins, of course, but they are smaller than the traditional small boglins uh, that we've looked at in the past. Um, the small boglins will probably cover the front of a fist. Obviously, I've got big, fat hands, so, you know, they're not great for puppetry, but these are, are smaller, smaller models, as you can see. Uh, but cute for it, and you can get your fingers in there and make the mouth go. So that's good, uh, and, uh, and that's about that, for that. Uh, I would have liked a bit of paint job on this, I think if you'd have gotten an airbrush. Uh, I think the, the lips especially, if they'd have uh, given that a different shade of green, uh, I think that would have really popped. Really, really, really popped, you know? Uh, I like the eyes, I think the eyes are cute. Uh, really, I mean, in, in terms of Boglin design, they've nailed They've nailed the grossness, but this is also one of the most adorable, one of the most weirdly adorable Boglins uh, I've seen, I think. Give you a closer look at all the extremities there. His hands, get you a look at the back and everything. 
you know, it's given it all uh, texture and detail. They're pockmarked in a way similar to the way the old Mini Boglins were, where the uh, flesh is just sort of scored and everything. Uh, it does pick up little bits of hair very, very easily. Uh, they're not necessarily sticky, but they're very tactile. They're very... They're, they're, things are drawn to them. So you've got to be careful about that. Find a good place to store your imps if you're going to get any imps. And them's your imps, the first Boglin puppets in 16 years, I believe. So that's very exciting. And considering these are all handmade individually one by one, um, and they're already quite good. I think they're good. I mean, obviously I'm biased because I'm the number one Boglin boy. Uh, but I think these are much more enjoyable and much better done than the uh, the four mini Boglins that came out last year. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, just imagine if Tim had uh, the budget and the workforce to actually make full-fledged big old Boglin puppets again. That'd be nice. Why don't someone give him some fucking backing to do that? Eh? It wouldn't fucking kill anyone, would it? Would it Hasbro? Would it Mattel? Or Kenner? Or whoever? No, it wouldn't. I'm just, I'm just looking out for my bro, bro Tim, who, who came through for me and proved to me that what I do is a legitimate job. And that this, this that you're looking at right now is definitely, definitely journalism. Thank you, Tim. I no, I don't love you, but I appreciate the work you do. I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is. Now you're in the world.